we are going to study about the desert ecosystem. We are going to study about the desert ecosystem. So there are three different types of deserts in that tropical desert, temperate desert and the cold desert. So the general characteristics of desert deserts are arid and dry. The land, annual rainfall is less than 25 cm. So the total area on earth is occupied by desert are one third. Again, the soil has poor insulating capacity. That's why the desert get cold quickly. Again, the adaptations, the plant and animal that shows the adaptations. So the plant conserve the water. Again, plant, the size of plant is reduced scaly leaves that shows by the plant it prevents the water again the different type of plants that shows the succulent leaves for the storage of water S stem of the plant flatten and it contains chlorophyll for the photosynthesis waxy cuticle of leaf that prevent the water loss these are the adaptations of the plant Again, the animal for the conservation of water, the again, it shows the adaptation. Again, the insect and the reptiles that shows the thick covering of the body that lives in a burrows. Uh, that, that shows that the low humidity and heat during the low humidity and heat during the day, it is prevented by the animals and mainly the animals are nocturnal so again so as we know that there are three type of deserts so the tropical deserts you can see here are the examples of the tropical desert that is sahara desert in north africa australia desert arabian desert Syri syrian desert in western asia south africa thar desert in india so why it is called the tropical desert so tropical desert has the highest percentage of sunshine of any climate is highest daytime temperature of any climate this means the annual temperature is 64.4 fahrenheit again as we know that in a desert area the little rainfall is there okay location of the tropical desert is severely inhabitants the chance of precipitation the descending air of the subtropics warms and dries out the air, not allowing for condensation to occur. In turn, the desert receives the little precipitation annually. The tropical desert is a kind with the rain, the rain shadows that does not allow for much rain to reach the desert area. Again, here, introduction. So you can see in the this slide the sand dunes. Okay, sand dunes are there in desert which is common the biggest tropical desert in north northern africa is called sahara desert there are few desert in us in such as muzabi desert the great basin desert etc okay again the tropical desert fact so the hot desert sahara the desert is the hottest biome on earth that is the temperature is the highest on earth it can be well over 100 degrees during the day but can be get down 32 degrees at night camels are the most well-known desert animal they are called as a sheep of the desert because they can cross the desert better than any other animal next the animal and the plant life that is flora and fauna of the desert the animal life the animals are nocturnal and carnivorous borrowers kanga, kanga, kangaroo rat insects reptiles and the birds plant life that is ground ground hugging shrubs short woody trees and cactus are common in the desert temperature sorry temperate desert as we know that so characteristic of the temperate desert so the climate the precipitation is much less than 100 centimeter per year the average temperature ranges that is 110 degrees celsius to 25 degrees celsius the area ranges between 15 degrees to 35 north and the south of the equator located in the southeast and northeast trade winds 
trop typically supports animal life that can adapt to adapt to the temperature and can conserve water plants are usually salt and drought drought tolerant here the example of the tropical desert you can see the sonoran desert in the us and the mexico and mojave desert in the us the plants the all plants in a temperate desert must be adapted to a dry condition common adaptations are that is reduction of leaves a thick wax cuticle dense coating of hair extensive underground root system here the plant that is precipio and the cactus are the examples of the plants again the animals so you can see in this slide so different type of animals you can see again the animal that thrive in a temperate desert that is rocky herx zebra tail lizard and bacterian camel so the camel having the two hems known as bacterian camel zebra tail lizard you can see in this pic and the rocky herx that is a, a rabbit that live in a rocks again the characteristics of the cold desert so as we know that the name itself indicate that cold means the temperature is low the cold desert it characterized as a desert of desert because of extreme poverty of life cold desert is an environment of extreme just like a tropical desert except the cold desert receives a snowfall rather than the rainfall a lat a latitude and a latitude of cold desert ranges from 50 degrees south to 70 degrees to 70 west to 80 west so the majority of a snowfall occurs in the winter occasionally in a short in the short short summer the cold desert over 5 million square kilometer of land on earth the location of cold desert are antarctica that all we know that antarctica is a cold desert central asia and the greenlands antarctica is the world's largest cold desert again here are the example gobi desert okay na namib desert and the ladakh in a cold is a cold desert in a india here the adaptations animal adaptations so the polar bears bear a live bears live much of their life on a sea ice of cold desert adaptations the polar bears white coat is filled with the water repellent hairs and a dense cover coat that covers their feet the polar bear have a short thick covered snout ear that retain heat for the environment polar bears also have extremely sensitive noses that can sense up the 20 things up to 20 miles away to one fit underneath the ice again these polar bears and the yak are the animals that live in a that is cold area again the gobi desert so cold desert that stretches from the northern china to south mongolia occupies almost a million kilometer square fauna real eagle wild camel and gray wolf okay flora this uh, the tahana or the cameron cameron onion acacia astemisia all all dropped deformed and stunted so the desert ecosystem as we know that the ecosystem is a integration of a biotic and the biotic component you can see a biotic components are soil high temperature low rainfall and the dry climate and the water again biotic components it includes producers consumers and the decomposers producers are the autotroph autotrophs that is shrubs herbs grasses and few trees consumers are the insects reptile birds and the camels decomposers are the organism they feed or decay the left over of animal and the dead plant that is fungi and the thermophilic bacteria or we can say the 